This is the Welland Canal, which connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. And that is a Viking cruise ship. <laughs> Located less than 20 kilometers west of Niagara Falls, the Welland Canal bypasses the famous falls and rapids and allows critical navigation for large vessels between Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. Part of the St. Lawrence Seaway, the canal also provides seafaring vessels access to and from the Atlantic Ocean and the Midwestern United States. The canal used today is the fourth version of the canal system, with the original canal starting operation back in 1829. First proposed by mill owner William Hamilton Merritt, in 1818, the canal would connect the Great Lakes to the St. Lawrence River and the Atlantic, allowing goods from Upper Canada to be shipped to Montreal and Great Britain. The modern version of the canal began operation in 1932 and continues to operate today, and it's an amazing sight to see, just a short drive from the Horseshoe Falls. I arrived just after sunrise to catch a glimpse of the Octantis, one of two Viking ships providing cruise itineraries on all five of the Great Lakes. In fact, the Great Lakes region will see 12 cruise ships operating this season. Collectively, these ships will be offering 37,000 berths, bringing over 1 million tourists to port communities all around the Great Lakes systems. The Viking vessels are expedition ships, which offer a different style of cruising than what you might find sailing in the Caribbean. These ships have actual working scientific labs on board, and as guests of the ship, you get to participate in some of those scientific activities and expeditions. There's a huge variety of itineraries available too, with ports of call like Killarney Provincial Park, Niagara Falls, Georgian Bay, Thunder Bay, and Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Some itineraries take you up the St. Lawrence River and out to the Atlantic with stops in Quebec City, Halifax, and New York City. There's even an itinerary that cruises on all five of these inland seas. Sailing from May to October each year, this would be a super fun, albeit pricey, way to experience this beautiful part of the world. I'm now standing here at Lock 8, which is the last lock in the Welland Canal system. From here, the ships will exit into Lake Erie and continue on their journey. This is just one of the interesting things you'll see on your trip to the Welland Canal. The Welland Canal Parkway starts just north of Lock 7, and it hugs the western side of the locks all the way to Lake Ontario. With small pull-offs along the way, you'll get a chance to stop and explore the locks and sights as you travel. You'll have scenic views of historic lift bridges, get to stretch your legs along the picturesque Welland Canal trails, and see amazing engineering, like this powerhouse that harnesses the energy of the water to produce enough power to operate the entire 27-mile canal system. And it produces clean, renewable energy with zero pollutants and zero greenhouse gases. So I just drove 30 minutes north from Lock 8 and now I'm at Lock 3. Further north at Lock 3, you'll find a large parking lot which services the Welland Canal Lookout, St. Catharines Museum and Welland Canal Centre, as well as another access point to the Welland Canal's trails. All of the attractions mentioned here are free, including parking, although the museum requests a donation. Head up the stairs to the lookout for amazing views of the canal system and the ships travelling through the locks. It only takes about 30 minutes for a ship to move through the lock, so if you're lucky and arrive when a ship is there, stick around to see the process. There's also docents available to provide great info about the canal and its history. It's amazing to see these massive ships navigate through a lock that is only two or three feet wider than the ship itself. In fact, to help the ships through the locks, there are pilots who board the ships to help navigate through the narrow passageways. With a total of eight locks, the canal system allows ships to travel a vertical distance of 326 feet. To put that into perspective, that's about 20 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty. It's not every day that you can get this close to such massive ships and get a first-hand look at the ship's details and watch the crew work. This is a very important engineering engineering achievement. For every one freighter that travels through here, the goods that it delivers is the equivalent of 900 transport trucks worth. And this canal system wouldn't exist if it weren't for the impassable Niagara Falls. After watching a freighter traverse the lock, I headed inside the museum to learn more about the canals and local area. Many of the cities and towns that you'll travel through when visiting the canals only exist thanks to the prosperity the canal brought to the area. There's amazing exhibits and info here, and it's worth exploring. Continue north along the Welland Canal Parkway, and you'll find more places to pull off, as well as places to stop for food. So after finishing up at the museum, I continued north for another 15 minutes, and now I'm at lock number one. As you can see, there's a ship in the lock right now. The water is just draining out. Once that's finished, the lock doors will open, 
and the ship can continue on its journey out to Lake Ontario. If you're visiting the Niagara or Toronto area, the Welland Canal is an often overlooked attraction, but it's an amazing engineering feat and an opportunity to see stunning ships like the Viking vessels and massive ocean and lake freighters. A short drive from Niagara Falls and the Niagara wineries, this is a great half day or less adventure and gives you an opportunity to see a part of Southern Ontario away from the tourist traps. If you don't want to spend your time bumping shoulders with other tourists along Clifton Hill, hop in a car or on a local tour and head to the Welland Canal for some real Canadian history. So I know I've mentioned this in previous videos, but even though it's 25 degrees and sunny and really warm, the closer you get to the water, the colder it gets. The breeze blowing off Lake Ontario right now is really cold. I'm gonna have to put my sweater back on. So if you're visiting the area, make sure you pack layers. Well, that's gonna do it from the Welland Canal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. We have a playlist on Niagara, so check that out next. Thanks for watching. See ya.